this morning. And whether it's cooking an entire meal, we have our Dash rice cooker. That is like a multi-cooker. You can do anything in that. We also have a cast iron pan that is like the cast iron to end all cast iron. Why? Because it's nonstick. And yes, you heard it here. It goes in the dishwasher. So I want you to stay tuned. We have a great show planned for you. And then I'm going to be with you in our 2 a.m. hour. And we have the beauty spy will be back with us as well. But let's start off with a fan favorite. If you own our neg, can you do me a favor and give us a call? Because we have sold thousands of these here at HSN. And I know you love it because it's a customer pick on hsn.com. How many of us love hard boiled eggs, myself included? We love the protein. We love to make egg salad. We love to do the hard boiled eggs. We want to be able to make all kinds of great delicious meals and healthy meals for our family with eggs, right? Well, peeling them becomes a pain in the you know what. Well, the neg is going to solve that. All you do is take your hard boiled egg, pop it in, give it a little shake, and the peel comes, or the shell, comes off so quickly and so easily. Now, the colors that we have available, it is a two-pack. And the really great thing is this is 50% off. We are at $17.50 to get a two-pack at home. So you can take one to the office. You can give one as a friend. We have it in the red. We have it in the white. We have it in fuchsia. If you want the blush, I was told a little earlier that we yes. only have 21 available. We have it in the green, in the yellow, and we also have it in the black. It's a customer pick with 267 reviews. Give us a call, 1-866-376-8255. If you own it and you are using it, we want to hear from you this <laughs> evening. And Kelly Diedring is joining us, our kitchen expert. Hello. Hello. I'm the you, expert. Ooh, <laughs> rum, bum, bum. Yes. That was very good. Thank you. Look at the shell, though. Look at it's that. Just, it basically jumps off of the, uh, the egg itself. So this is all you do. I love it. And, you know, honest to goodness, mm. that's the biggest trouble with hard-boiled eggs is peeling them. All those tiny and little pieces lose half the egg you trying to peel it. Egg. And also, they become ugly once you nick them with your nail, <laughs> right? So, so you're never going to use them for your deviled eggs because, you know, heaven forbid there be a, an ugly deviled egg, right? Right. So all an you ugly do, duckling. Uh, yes. All you do is pour a little bit of water so the water goes right up to the cap line. It's about a quarter cup. And then okay. you put your chilled hard-boiled egg inside the neg and then there's these little divots on the inside. And when you start so to shake... So does it need to be chilled? Yeah, it needs to be chilled. Okay. It needs to be a cool egg. Yeah, not right out of the boiling hot pan as okay. well. Okay, perfect. You just start to give it a shake. And honestly, you can even see it. And when you open it, that shell has completely, basically jumped off the egg. When you pinch it and just <gasps> give it a little twirl, the whole shell comes off. It's the coolest thing. It's really actually quite scientific. When you think about it, those little divots actually break that lining. And that lining is actually what sticks, you know, the, the shell to the egg itself. Yes. And then on the inside of each of your eggs, remember getting the two pack, there's a recipe for the perfect hard boiled egg. She tells you exactly how to make them, chill them, and then look at how perfectly cooked it's gonna be. So so really, if you're the person that volunteers to do the deviled eggs, but you don't do it anymore because you're so sick and tired of right. peeling them, or maybe your hands just hurt, you have arthritis, or you're just not quite as strong as you used to be, you're going to love getting a two-pack of Meg. So keep one at the office, maybe keep one at home. Right, Maybe Travel keep with one it. and gift one away, like put it in the gift closet or sure. give one to your sister-in-law. Well, because it's one of those things that you don't really think you need. Like, like how much am I really going to use it? Oh, trust me. With Easter right around the corner, oh, I mean, this is perfect for Easter. And now, today, with four flexible payments of $4.38, blush is gone, did oh. you say? Okay, so... So blush is completely... Pink, the dark pink is really pretty, too. Okay, so yes. the blush is completely sold out. We have the fuchsia. We have classic white, red, black, yellow, and then the green. So kind of keep that in mind. This is 50% off this evening. Look at the Huge shell. Huge savings. Have you ever peeled a hard-boiled egg and gotten the whole shell? No. The whole shell, so it breaks that lining so that this literally, it just basically what I say is it jumps out of its own shell. It becomes easy to do. It takes just a couple of seconds. A quarter cup of water and a chilled hard-boiled egg is all you need. So it'll do any kind of eggs, you know, as long as it's hard boiled and a little bit cool, you pop it inside the neg, you can see those little divots, and then you start to shake. You can have fun with it, get the kids involved, get a little hip action, well, whatever you, you could do two at a time if you got both of them going. A little going. exercise, not it's really. It's fun though. It really, it really is, is. It's to addicting. get it going. It's addicting because once you do it one time, you're like, oh my gosh, I got to do that again. Is that going to work the next time? And I'll tell you, there's always a stubborn egg here or there, but it pretty much works every, every time. Every time. Yeah. And Kelly, my producer said, I don't know if you know this, and I don't know if this is true, but she says the brown egg is more 
more difficult to peel than the white Much egg. more difficult to peel. Is so that we'll true? do another brown egg. Actually, that okay. is true. She's so, like, well, yes. I find that to be true. I don't know if there's any science behind it, but right. I definitely find that be, to be true. And it will do the brown eggs as well. I always buy the brown eggs because at my grocery store, when I buy organic, they're always brown. The brown eggs, yeah. right. So I get those brown eggs and then you just give it a twist. And even if it doesn't look like it's coming off, look, all you do is pinch the shell Look, and it look. just twirls off. That's the oh whole shell. God. So if you're getting this as a, as a gift for somebody for Easter, maybe this, you still hard boiled a lot of eggs for Easter and you do all the colors and the little shrink wraps oh, and I all love that. I doing that. Now you can open them and eat them eat so they're them. not wasted. Right, and think about the frustration that this is going to relieve because now you're not gonna be aggravated. You're not gonna ruin. Eggs are expensive. Yeah. Eggs are very expensive. It's not like back in the old days, right? Right. Um, this is such an efficient way that you just give it a little shake about a quarter cup of water, pop your egg in there, it's compact. You know what, listen, I hardly have any space left in my kitchen. I don't want another giant appliance in there. Yeah. This is so small, look at this. If it's in the palm of my hand, you can see how well it works. You said make sure the egg is chilled. Make sure the egg is chilled. Does it chilled. matter, hot or cold water? Uh, nope, I would use some room temp water. Okay. And then one other little tip, I know we're wrapping it up, is you okay. can actually take your little snacks, because they're seven grams of protein, and you can store a couple of eggs in and take them to work as your so snack. So use it as a container. Use it as a little container to store your, your eggs in. So you're gonna love getting this. You're gonna That's feel genius. really cool when you get to show people how it works. I know, yeah. so white, red, black, yellow, green, or the fuchsia. We also have the Dash Deluxe Egg Cooker. Now this is $24.95. It is on two flexible payments of $12.48 to get it at home. And Kelly, this is one of those things that, you know, for most of us, cooking eggs, it's like how much water? Do I put salt in the pan? Sure. Do I bring it to a rapid boil? Do I not bring <laughs> it to a rapid boil? Like there's all these myths into cooking the perfect hard boiled egg. Well now this unit is going to do it for you and it is our Dash Deluxe Egg Cooker. It's $24.95. It's gonna cook 12 eggs all at once. So hard boiled, you can do soft, medium. Little Ooh. omelets. Almost, it's, you could do poached eggs in there too. There's like thousands of perfect reviews on this I egg cooker. I love it, so I love it. if you like the egg and you like your hard boiled eggs, grab that egg cooker okay, as well. perfect. So we're not gonna have a full presentation on that. We just wanted to give you a little sneak peek because it goes perfect with the egg. Yes. But let's move on into our Dash Express mini chopper food processor. I was telling Kelly when I met with her prior to the show, I said, you know, a lot of us have the big old honkin' countertop food processors. Yeah, they're like 20 cups. They're like 20 cups. Yeah. Now, that's great when I'm having company come over and then I always tell I told Kelly I said I always forget which attachment goes where and then how just forget it right <laughs> well now dash has simplified made it easy and give you a countertop unit that is a two cup capacity so a family of two a family of four if you just want to chop garlic if you just want to do onions or salsa or marinades yep. or dips this does it all in seconds in seconds two cups I love the size of this it's another huge customer pick almost all dash items are okay. their motto is unprocess your food Food. They want to give you the tools in the kitchen to make things easy. And a small food processor chopper is really what we all need. Most of us, unless you're running a catering business right. or something like that, don't need a giant food processor. You're getting two cups. You're getting a pulse feature and that mince feature. We chopped all of this earlier. So whether you're, you know, doing the meal prep where you want to get all your garlic sliced, you know, on Sundays or all your mirepoix for your soups or stews or whatever it is, you can see it went through carrots, no problem. Celery, peppers. Oh, for cauliflower rice or cauliflower yes. crust pizza. Does. You don't have to get out that big food processor. So it's going to do your prep work. What about Taco Perfectly. Tuesday? Oh, like taco you, night for the onions. Night? You don't have to cry over onions I anymore. Know. And you Throw know your onions in here, slice them, dice them, and you're good. You're good. Yep. And the chopping is always the most difficult thing. It's always the most laborious task. Sure. No one wants to do all that food prep. So why not let Dash do it for you? And hence the name, Express Mini Chopper. Yeah, because absolutely. it's super fast. And now you're going to show us. So you can butter? actually feed things through the top. So there's two little tiny any holes there so it'll fold things in typically you would do this while it was running but since it's a little bit loud I'm just showing you I'm adding a little bit of oil any oil of your choosing whether you want to use peanut oil coconut oil whatever you're using inside here it's just cashews I'm gonna make a cashew butter this could be almonds mm. or peanuts whatever you want to do it has those two buttons that pulse feature I always get things going with pulse and then basically it turns into a little miniature blender 
And look I mean, to the power. Oh yeah, you're talking serious power in a small machine. So don't let the size fool you. It's mighty and it's powerful, it's compact. As I mentioned with the Neg, I am out of space in my kitchen. This is compact. Many of us are. It's small, yeah. but it does the job. And that's exactly what we want. And today for $34.95, this is also on free shipping. So with the free shipping and the three flex, that's $11.65. Is that cashew butter? Ooh, Can you imagine yummy. putting that in little jars and gifting that away to your friends or neighbors? How have you ever fancy been to would like you the, be? Yeah, I mean, have you ever been to like the farmer's market and you buy the almond butter? It's like $12 or $13. Yeah, it's really and you expensive. pay it because it's delicious. Make right. it yourself. Unprocess your food. You ever turned around a jar of peanut butter? There's like chemical preservatives yeah. and all kinds of stuff, added sodium. Mm -hmm. You don't want all that. Same with your jars of pesto or your red sauce or whatever you're making. You can all make it at home. And the reason we don't is because it's clunky and cumbersome, right? We right. don't want to get out that big, you know, 25 pound stand mixer or, you know, a big food processor like Robin was mentioning. You can fold your oil, your water, your cream, whatever it is, in through the top. And you can see inside here we have some basil, pine nuts. Obviously, we've got pesto. some Parmesan. We're going to make a beautiful pesto. I love pesto. <laughs> and you know what? There's nothing better than making homemade pesto. It's fresh. You're not using preservatives and chemicals and things that exactly. really should not Tastes be in there. fresh, right? Absolutely. And I think to Kelly's point about unprocessing our food, this really allows us to do it in a simple, easy way. And how fast is it? I mean, honestly, it's not difficult to cook healthy. We always thought it was because we never had the machines mm, that, that did it right. so good. Um, you know, we don't all need a giant food processor. Maybe you do, and this isn't for you, but if it's just you and maybe up to four or five members of your family, two cups to process fresh, you know, pesto, fresh peanut butter, homemade, you know, whatever, soups, gazpachos. You can do it in hummus. this minute. Yeah, hummus. We've hummus, got hummus. Yeah, if you wanted do. to do, hum I love hummus. Like it's a little midnight snack when I get a little hungry. It's so healthy. And it's healthy. It's protein. It's easy to be yep. able to do. Even if you want to make homemade salsa, you're not having to have all those preservatives in there. You control the ingredients, which is essential. And for $34.95, to your point, you were talking about, maybe this isn't for you if you're someone who you want a larger capacity and sure. many of us already have the large food processor yeah. I will tell you I have a large food processor but I also have a small one so I think there's room in our kitchen for both, both. of them. I would keep this out on my countertop I would too that was frozen blueberries by the way so if you're wondering about the power it almost turns itself into like a little miniature blender that was frozen blueberries cream and a little lemon juice mm. this is going to become a guilt-free sorbet so in my mini food processor I'm I made a sorbet coconut. for Milk, oh, coconut milk coconut would be decadent. Milk. I use Instead coconut milk. Instead of cream, that would be a nice, yeah, healthy so alternative. So if you're kind of looking at calories, yes. think about that. That's perfect. But look at this beautiful sorbet. Mm. There's no processed sugars. There's no added, you know, chemicals to preserve it. You can see it was three ingredients. And I've just made a guilt-free dessert for myself. I probably have enough here for three or four people. Right. So if you're wondering about the size, two cups is a lot of food. No matter right. what you're making, it's not just going to process in terms of chopping, slicing, dicing. It's going to give you the you know the options to do really cool things: egg salad, ham salad, look, uh, whatever you, look you want like to do. Like a superstar. But but it was three ingredients. You know what I mean? Right. It's not hard I mean, to be healthy okay. if you think about it. And speaking of three ingredients, there are three colors. <laughs> so let oh, me make sure. So I'm not good. even sure I did this, Alice. And I got I apologize. Oh, that's so good. Um, so we have it in the red, we have it in the black, and we also have it in the mint color. So mint, I believe that's no, we're calling it blue. Okay. Aqua. Aqua. Okay, my card says blue. So it's aqua when you're ordering this one and then the red and then also your black. So all three colors. Now also keep in mind, you're getting nine recipes as well. So those nine recipes will kind of help it guide you if you're just starting out, yep. which is fantastic. But today at $34.95, maybe you're just tuning in this morning and you're thinking, yeah, I want I want a snack. I want some fresh salsa. Yeah, fresh salsa, oh, five ingredients. Nothing okay, better. Get your jar of salsa out of your pantry if you've got one or in your refrigerator and look at mm -hmm. the back. There's added sugars, added sodiums, added right. chemicals, all kinds of preservatives. Really, it takes five ingredients to make mm -hmm. it. I did like a restaurant blend. You could do a thicker salsa if you like, whatever you want to do. But that's a beautiful, fresh salsa made with five ingredients. If you don't want a spicy salsa, four ingredients. You remove the jalapeno, right? Right. But we're talking truly decadent, fresh oh, foods. Get back to so the good. basics. And it took me seconds. I didn't have to chop, chop, chop everything, get right. out a knife, get out a cutting How board. How many of us have bad um, dexterity issues? Sure. Like your hands get sore, your fingers get sore. What are you making 
now. Is that egg, egg salad? salad? And that was seven eggs. Seven yeah, eggs. Yeah, seven eggs. You can see a little mayo. Now, how do I clean this? Is this dishwasher, dishwasher safe? Dishwasher safe except the motor. So obviously okay. you're not going to put the motor in. But you can see everything that I've made takes me literally. Was that seconds? If we time this, probably 10 seconds, seconds. or under because of the, pro the power. You're not struggling with it. You don't have a giant food processor to get out from underneath the cabinet and figure out where all the different blades are. You have a single blade that's going to pretty much do anything that you're able, you know, that you want to do. Seven eggs, that'll feed an army. And you could even have enough to freeze. Maybe you're doing meal prep where you prep everything on a Sunday. Day. Maybe you're doing keto diet where that's like going to be a really healthy mm -hmm. meal for you. Pretty much zero carbs there. Wow. Yeah. I mean, it just was in seconds. My producer's also saying, she says she used to chop all her herbs by hand. Yeah. And She's she said she got tired. She says, I take all my herbs, throw them in there. And then she says she uses it almost as like as a crust or to season and flavor meats and perfect. food. It's perfect. So imagine how awesome that would be. You're not having to do that by hand anymore. And, and how many of us, when we get to that point where you're just like, I can't, I don't want to chop my finger. I don't want to cut myself. Yeah, many of us don't have great knife skills. Let's be I, honest. I definitely do I not. I am I'm okay kind of... with a knife. I am not great with a knife. <laughs> and so I would much rather let a machine I, do the work for me. I must be me. pretty good. I still have all 10 fingers. Yes, but you I'm just lost saying. Them yet. <laughs> right. Um, you were talking about homemade hummus. fresh hummus. Yeah. You know, for something about grabbing the store bought hummus never tastes right to me. Nope. Same I always here. do my fresh hummus. You can see yeah. a little paprika. There's some garlic, salt, and pepper. Maybe you want to do a little tahini. But most of all, just your tahini you're, is the secret. Yeah, tahini. <laughs> I, I really do. All believe right. That. So we're gonna okay. do. A couple of pulses. You can see I always like to get it started with a couple pulses. And then, and then once you get going, you guys, you're turning this into that little miniature blender. Look at it shaking around. It, that's the kind of power. And it's not, no one's even holding it. No, like well, it's you, not, it has look, suction cups on the bottom. So it's oh, not awesome. going to take a walk across Okay, so kitchen. as we wrap up, you have three colors available. You have the red, you have the black, you have your aqua color. So all three, two cup capacity on this, $34.95 on three flexible payments of $11.65 to be able to get this at home. Don't forget, you're also getting nine recipes, which even includes a Greek yogurt tzatziki sauce. Yeah, and the recipes yummy. are delicious. So yummy. You have an almond butter oatmeal mix, a kale walnut pesto, a creamy spinach artichoke dip. Holy moly, does that sound wonderful? Yeah, they all are. So we did a little graham cracker crust, but that could have been saltines for a little, you know, savory breadcrumbs or whatever you want to do. You yeah. can see we did our little miniature cheesecakes, but for whatever your chopping needs, right? Slicing, dicing, food processing, we don't need the giant mm. machines. Go ahead and grab this, read the reviews first, because you're going to be impressed. I don't want to go anywhere now. You want to eat this? I do want to eat this. I want I'm you to have it. some. I will. I just stuck my fingers in there. <laughs> mm. Oh, graham crackers. I love it's graham delicious. crackers. delicious. So good. Back to the childhood. So salsa, guacamole. Now, obviously, I know the big game will be this weekend, but think about all the prep you're going to manually do. Now you don't have to do it anymore. Salad dressing. Fresh salad dressing is so much better than jarred salad dressing. It is. I mean, it's always have better to ever, do like, fresh. Have you ever, like, had the gelatinous salad dressing, like you get from the can or the jar, yeah. and then you just pour it and it's like gelatinous yeah. and you can it just doesn't taste right Let's when you make to the fresh healthy foods yeah mm -hmm. yes absolutely okay I am so jazzed about this next know, item. This I am all about this item. I have a rice cooker and I love it. I actually don't, I think it's unfair to call it a rice cooker. <laughs> it should be called a multi-cooker because you're not just gonna cook rice, quinoa, oatmeal. I do spaghetti in mine. I do a bolognese. I do mac and cheese. I've made banana fosters in mine. Wow. I mean, I am telling you, I love my multi-cooker. We're calling it a rice cooker, but it's a multi-cooker. It's $19.95. The other thing I like about it is I tend to like start cooking and then get distracted and walk away. Yeah, and this will, that's, that's <laughs> so, okay because your that's rice why, would burn on the stove top, right? right? That's why I Doesn't love matter. this because yeah. I throw it all in, set it, forget it, walk away, come yeah. back, boom, it's done. I'm a rock star. Yeah. I mean, I love you it. You can't mess it up. You can't. Now, yeah. here's the thing. For $19.95, we have four colors. That's it, Allison? I think we were selling out of a couple okay. colors. So, so here is your black. We have it in your red. We also have it in the pink. I think for Valentine's gift, if someone is in a dorm room, they're yeah. in an apartment, yeah. their office Good. space, they're trying to eat healthier. And then your final color is turquoise. turquoise. So turquoise. Do we not have magenta? 
I think magenta okay, so gone. magenta We've sold out complete. of two or three colors yeah. already. I mean, for 19.95, seriously? Yeah. So it does rice perfectly. Okay. So it, we're calling it a rice cooker because, quite frankly, they require us here at HSN to give things a name. <laughs> so it's called the rice cooker because it does your perfect white rice, your black rice, your brown rice, your quinoa. If you're somebody that just can't cook rice, maybe you're a great cook and you just can't get rice quite right, this does it perfectly. So that was just white rice. By the way, rice is a number one side dish in America. Didn't know it. I thought it was like French fries or something, but it's rice. I eat rice. So all the time. Two full cups of rice, one cooked of dry rice, will yield two cups of cooked rice, mm. but it's the best rice. Yeah. And you can walk away, it will automatically it's switch itself to keep warm. Sticky rice. Yeah, it's, it's that like nice, restaurant. delicious restaurant style rice. Yes. But then you can do so much more in your rice cooker. So, you know, Robin said bananas fosters. I was really impressed with that, but we just did Seriously, chili. Seriously, it's so easy. It is easy, but look at the chili that we did. And you could even do this. I'm gonna say it from raw beef. It will it will sear, um, and it will cook the uh, brown the beef yeah. inside there. But look at our chili. I mean, right now it's the perfect time for chili. It's a little chili over your rice, and you have a really good cold weather meal. But maybe you're gifting this to somebody that you know doesn't like to use a microwave, and they're wanting to eat healthier at the office. It's really awesome for small spaces because it's that two cups, perfect capacity. Take it to the office. Take it to the dorm room. Maybe it's an assisted living home where they don't have a stove top right. or whatever right. it is. All you need is a plug. So maybe it's for your RV. Maybe this is for your husband that drives a truck. I mean, we've talked to a lot of people because it's, it's a nice, compact size. I mean, it, it's honestly, it is a rock star. Yeah. It is the most simplest thing to use. You get everything you need from the removable bowl to the measuring scoop to the paddle and the spoon to the glass lid. Oh, that's another thing. If you've seen other rice cookers, a lot of times the, the lid, you can't see inside oh, as it I cooks. Oh, I know. This one. Is this is glass. Yeah, oh, cook and look. I yeah. like that. And then so you get the lid and everything. So you can see like two steps. Okay, so one step was scoop out your rice and pour your rice. The other step was scoop out your water and pour your water mm -hmm. or broth or whatever liquid you want to use. It's one to one. So one scoop of each. Right. And then you hit down to cook. There's two buttons. One of them says cook and one of them says warm. So you can see I'm flipping between the two of them. One of them's cooked, one of them's warm. And then when it's done cooking, this is really a, you know, a feature of a very sophisticated machine. <laughs> it will actually switch itself to keep warm. So like yeah. you said, if you've ever walked away from your stove top and it's boiled over, your rice is burnt to itself yep. or whatever, you know, this or, is not going to do that. It will keep it warm for you and not burn it and not right. overcook it. Or how many of us are going to be doing queso dip this weekend, oh, right? Yeah. And we Keep it warm. We're just going to go yep. all out and bad. Just why not one day? It's the Super Bowl, right? Um, I'm but, doing both of those things. Uh, exactly. <laughs> but how many of us just want to use it as a cheese to keep the cheese dip Yeah, hot? warm. And you could just put it on warm. Or chocolate fondue at the holidays. Ooh. or your gravy at Thanksgiving. It will keep yeah. your gravy warm or keeping a soup or a stew warm. So this is just those little bags. I like this idea because maybe a lot of us are, you know, still eating healthy. It's only February. We haven't uh, jumped the shark yet. But you can see a lot of times these are organic. You can buy yeah. them, buy one, get one free. They have a protein. They have a vegetable. They're nice and healthy meals. Take this to the office. Take it right out of the office freezer and pop it inside your rice cooker. Right. And you don't have to do anything else. It's literally going to warm it. No microwave needed. No and it's microwave cook your food for you. It's so true. And you just dump it all in and forget about it. That's what I like. And then it'll pop. It'll go to warm. You won't overcook it. The meal yep. will be ready. If you want to ask about, we do have one pot meals by Dash. Well, that was made with this rice cooker yeah, too. Yeah. So it's $20. It's 609028. 609028. So this is available if you want to ask about that as well. I believe it's available on hsn.com. You're also getting uh, some recipes coming included as well with the unit when you get it at home. But you just made a lasagna. A mini lasagna, and it's really not that mini. I mean, look at it. That would serve two, maybe three people. Depends on how hungry the people are. But honestly, you can do little meals like this if you're somebody that lives alone, right. or there's just Empty one or nesters. two of you. Yeah, your kids are all gone, and you don't want to make a big pot of lasagna because you're always <laughs> going to end up throwing it away. What a perfect do way to really do throw lasagna. It away? I, if it sits there long enough, I have chili in my fridge right now that's yeah. going to go because we made really? too much. Oh, uh, yeah, it just happens. We yeah, kind of I mean, overcook. Because my four-year-old doesn't eat sophisticated things like chili. He eats mac and cheese, so it's just but me and my husband. Make, <laughs> but you could make mac and cheese. Yeah, so we have mac and cheese going. I don't know yes. if we'll have a chance okay, to get Okay, what are we looking it. at next? So this one comes included in the recipe guide. This is a Southwest quinoa casserole, okay? And this one has quinoa, which is protein. So if you're somebody that's maybe trying to do like a meatless Monday where you're just doing, you know, no meat once a week or you're trying to get a little mm. bit healthier, it has a protein and so quinoa is a nice alternative to rice many of us don't eat quinoa because it's difficult to cook 
It is. And we had a caller, I'll never forget, I always mention him. He said, I don't know how to pronounce quinoa, let alone cook it. So this <laughs> will cook true. it for you. It's one to one, one scoop of quinoa, one scoop of liquid water or broth. This just has some corn and some black beans and some cheese. And then I always like to add a little fresh cilantro. Maybe you chop sour your cilantro cream. in your chopper. I do avocados on top of mine. Ooh, I, avocado, yeah, that would be delicious. I chop, and then I squeeze a little lime juice on top. So Coming that to over. me is like a nice little finishing touch if you want to do that. You can add cheese. A lot of us love just to sprinkle a little cheddar cheese. A little cheese. bit of cheddar cheese, yes. Listen, I can't help myself sometimes. Uh, you're not going to be able to help yourself here. <laughs> Now, what are you making? A chocolate cake. <gasps> and look at how moist you've not tried see. a cake yet. So these little mini cookers are perfect for your <gasps> cakes. Little mini cakes, right? And we did a little chocolate ganache on the top. But whatever you want to do. If you've do, got kids, could you imagine making little your own cakes? little cakes? Oh, my goodness. For $19.95. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, I think this is, that's why I call it a multi-cooker. There is yeah. nothing this little guy can't do. And it's on two flecks of $9.98 to get it at home. The only thing you have to do is choose your color. Oh, do you and want black? Do you want red? Do you want the pink? Or do you want the turquoise? Turquoise, yeah. turquoise final call out. This is like a little Caribbean vacation all that in is itself. So pretty. You're getting the matching spoon coming as well yeah. included. And the cup. And the cup. What's the capacity on this? Two cups. Two cup rice cooker. Two cups. And on it's non-stick. It's what we call our true glide non-stick. That was a cake. And look at it. There's not oh a single little piece of cake left in it. Can you we can, cut into the cake? You can you want to cut into the cake? Go for then it. Then I'm gonna have chocolate teeth. Uh, and, and look at how moist it is on the inside. <laughs> Side. I'm oh, making a mess now that I cut into it. Yummy. But you can see how moist it is as well. So honestly, it, it, I like the idea of making a bunch of these because that little cake was only one third of a box of cake mix. So mm. I could buy one box of cake mix, mm. which cost me about $1.50. That is so good. And I could make three little mini cakes. So that's 50 cents a gift for my teacher's gifts mm. or whatever it is, you're, you know, holiday season and you're gifting all your neighbors Aww. something isn't, homemade. Isn't that just happiness? It like is. Like it just fills your belly with such sunshine. Oh, mm. I love it. It's so good. It's, it's so good. I love that. All right, so we did a frittata okay. as well. And this is like six eggs, right? So you're going to have this beautiful frittata. I'm going to flip it over so you can see all the toppings. So you could do for four people and do a little fresh fruit oh, bowl absolutely. or something with it. Oh, yeah. You could do like a berry compote as well. Mm -hmm. But like imagine that for, for the kid in the dorm room who's not eating healthy, who might be eating leftover pizza for breakfast. They can make... They can have this in their dorm room or their small apartment or their first home or whatever it is. I mean, we're talking really, really healthy things. Wait, look at the And there's cleanup. nothing stuck in there. Because I think that's important I to show, I didn't have Kelly. to babysit a stovetop omelet. There's and nothing like, left. And how many things, if you picked up the Dash food processor, oh, yeah. you could chop all, all your veg, all your veggies yep. in the food processor and then throw them all into yep. your multi-cooker or your rice cooker and set it and you're done. done. Yeah. And you go get dressed in the morning. How many of us skip the most important meal? Yeah, because, because we're don't, busy. We're busy. Or we grab the sugary granola bar. I'm guilty of grabbing the, you know, bagel or whatever it is because I don't yeah. want to stand over a stovetop and babysit an omelet. You right. don't have to. All right, look at our cheese. I'm making nachos um, mm. Now, this is for Sunday. my producer, Allison, because she says, what about the queso dip? Yeah, so there's the queso dip. Now, whether you're going to pour it over nachos or just leave it sitting, because you can leave it, and it's not going to get all cold and congeal. You know, everybody's either at the beer cooler or the cheese dip for the party, right? Like, that's where everybody's hanging out. The beer cooler. Well, right? Beer <laughs> cooler, cheese dip. That's where they that's are at my house. wings. Chicken wings. Chicken wings. Um, all right. So, Allison, you said 200 left in the turquoise. In less than 200, then we have the pink, then we have the red, and we also have the black. Now, I highly encourage you to get this at home. Our toll-free number is at the bottom of the screen. You can also visit hsn.com. If this is your first time shopping with HSN, have confidence in numbers, meaning this is always a top seller. We have 143 reviews on hsn.com, and wow. it's a customer pick. Yeah. I mean, everyone is falling in love with this concept. Did someone say mac and cheese? Yes, I said mac okay, and cheese. Okay, then there's yours. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's your bowl. You don't have to twist my I arm. I know, twice. and I make it all the time because did I'll you make... put jalapenos in here? I don't think so. I think that's some parsley okay. for green. I don't. Because last don't time it was spicy. I know. I know. We had some spiciness for you. But it was good. Though. It was good. All I right. Just... So you're gonna do your mac and cheese. You can do pastas in here. <laughs> it's good, right? And you can just melt your cheese because it gets. You can see the steam oh, coming off so of these. It's so creamy. It's creamy. It's decadent. I didn't have to dirty 20 different pots or pans. Um, oh. You know, you're gonna take that with you. I know Our you're cam? moving sets. Oh. Take your. Am I leaving you? I think we are. I am. I think they said walk away from Kelly, Robin. Walk away from the mac but, and cheese. You know, it's normally said, nice. Put it down. It's <laughs> normally nice to say goodbye to somebody. Oh. So, <laughs> so thank you so much. Oh, I had Robin. so much fun. Take I am your mac and cheese with you, I, I'm going to take my mac right, and honey, cheese. I will do that. So continue to call in on your rice cooker. But we are moving right along.
the item number is up on the screen. If you would like to call in and pick up our two cup mini rice cooker, it does come with 14 recipes as well. But hi, Mark. Hi, how are you? How are you? The camera was on me. It was a surprise. Hi. Oh, oh did that Looking scare? at my knife. How's your mac and cheese? Okay. Oh, my gosh. Do you, I could share. Do you see the size <laughs> of bowl she gave that. me? It's huge. <gasps> it goodness. is. Nice. I could share. It's so delicious. <laughs> All right. With Easter, I love it. With Easter right around the corner, mm -hmm. Mark, y'all, um, this is perfect for all of us. And even for those of us who every day, whether it's the sub sandwich, whether it's baked bread, whether it's your, you know, your hand. This is our Cuisinart electric knife and carving board and storage tray. It is $49.95, and I'm telling you, this is a professional grade carving and slicing tool. And read the, the reviews. There are 22 reviews on hsn.com. It is a fan favorite. And this is perfect in time for Easter. You get it Absolutely. Home. And Mark, <laughs> one of the things when we think about cutting bread, we squish the bread. Right, we always squish it. Well, guys, I gotta tell you, when you get this home, do yourself a favor. Run, don't walk to the bread section, all right? Because this is the coolest way ever to slice bread. And not only that, doesn't matter how soft, how fresh, you're gonna get perfect slices every time. And remember, this is Cuisinart. So when it comes right. to control, you can expect a level out of this knife that you haven't seen before in electric knives and not only that but a blade that's so sharp Guys, whether it's bread, yeah. steak, meat, or anything, that's sharp enough that the crumbs don't even leave it. It's ridiculous. It right? is great. I mean, it's <laughs> precision and accuracy. Exactly. So let's take you on a tour, okay? okay. We've got a power button back here, which doesn't work until you unlock it. So this is never gonna accidentally come on. That's so very important. Feature. Exactly, unlock it, pull that trigger, and there you go. Now, once you're done, guys, these blades are removable. They're, they're removable. They're, they're stainless steel and dishwasher safe, and they separate just like that. You can give them a wipe, or again, pop them right in the dishwasher. When you're all done, you put them right back together, you simply line it up, and it slides right back. Oh, you gotta line it up like that, there we go, and it slides right back in. And guys, once you're done, then you've got that knife ready to go. So let's okay. talk about, uh, you know, Easter's coming, turkey time again, and I gotta right. tell you something, man, Dad never grabbed that electric knife because he wanted to carve the turkey. No, he, he sawed it back. He wanted to play with the electric knife, that's why he grabbed the thing, right? Well. <laughs> so guys, look at that. The perfect cuts every single time, and that's one of the reasons that we loved our electric knife, but here's why right. I love the electric okay. I'm a bit of a foodie, all right? I know so you are. I know, slicing the turkey's all fine and stuff like that, but let's have a little bit of fun with it. Because you've got the, the right tool, you can have a little more fun with your holiday options, with your protein options and you can do a few different things. Now we've got a tiny little like starter turkey here. So I'm gonna go ahead <laughs> and take this tiny. little guy out. It's a little one. It's like it a is? snack. It's like that a two, looks big two bite to turkey. me. You guys have a look here. Crispy turkey skin. And this is what I want you to see, okay? And this is what I love about electric knives. It doesn't break that skin. It just gives you perfect cuts every single time. So when you wanna serve that turkey breast just a little bit differently this year, this is certainly a way to go, you guys. And I gotta tell you, we haven't even gotten in to the type of power and some of the fun that you can have with this knife, but look at that cut. Isn't that beautiful? It is beautiful. Now, can the blade go in the dishwasher? Absolutely dishwasher okay. safe. You okay, got it, perfect. you got it, you got perfect. it. Perfect. So, and then don't forget, you're also getting the fork coming included. And the cutting board. And the cutting board, so we'll show you here. And then you're also getting the storage tray. So everything just pops right in there. So everything is safe, everything's secure. When you need it, you just grab and go. And then of course, you get your little manual and everything you need inside Well, I love that you're getting the whole kit. I love that you're yeah. getting the bamboo cutting board. I love that you're getting that little uh, uh, organizer for in the drawer so everything's where it should be. Yeah. So I want you to see something here. This is your typical blade from an electric knife. This might be what you remember. Kind of short, kind of stubby. Uh, you, you know, it's like, you look at this, and you're like, what is this gonna cut, really? But guys, look at it compared to our knife, all right? Ours looks a lot more like a chef's knife, and there's a reason for that, you guys. It's because we've housed a 130-watt motor. Come to your television. <laughs> Watch to your what's television. gonna happen right now. Most of the electric knives I've ever seen come in about 80 to 90 watts. That's not enough to do what you're looking at here. Look. This is 130 watts, and I'm not going through the soft flesh of the pineapple. I'm going right through that core. So when it comes time to do those special dishes, that, that brunch that's kind of cool, you bore that out, you put in some fruit salad and things like that. So if you've ever thought to yourself that electric knife is just for bread, it's just for turkey once a year, I'm here to tell you, it's foodie time. It's time to create some of those incredible dishes that you right. can't create with, with just a knife. Well, and how many times do you ruin whatever, maybe it is the prime rib, maybe it's the roast, maybe it's the turkey, the ham, because your knife isn't sharp enough. Right. 
and then it's all jagged and exactly. You janky want clean, and messy. Exactly. You cuts. We yes, even our eyes, Robin. Come on now. <laughs> now. Guys, here's a really cool tip for me to you on a great way to cut cherry tomatoes instead of one at a time. Drives you nuts. Plus, your fingers end up too close to the blade. You're going to take two plates. Your side, you decide the size. That's fine. And you're just going to put them on top of each other like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put that blade this. on oh. the inside, and you're just going to go ahead and let that run. And what that's going to do is that's going to go ahead and perfectly chop every one of those tomatoes in one shot. Follow me to the cutting board here so you can see. And there's my little tip to you when you get this electric knife at home. If you want perfectly have perfectly chopped tomatoes, go ahead and put those two plates, run them through. I love it. <laughs> Isn't that fun? I, I, he rendered me speechless. That rarely <laughs> happens. And he's like, let me do it it's again. It's true. We've worked <laughs> together for a while, right? It is. It's very let me, true. Let me do it again. Okay. Uh, guys, avocados are in. They're the in food. Good fats. Yeah. Great to put on burgers, steaks, anything like that. But mm -hmm. a lot of people don't want to do that thing and then do the thing. And then you and cut then your cut hand. The thing. Right. So guys, here's what you're going to do. Just go ahead and give this a little squeeze, just like that. All right. And now what you're going to do is you're going to take your electric knife with that 130 watts of power, and you're not going to worry about that silly little pit on the inside because this knife is going to go right through it. Oh, and my word. And because you gave it a bit of a squeeze, it pops right out, you guys. So let's go from one of the hardest foods you're going to cut to one of the softest, just to show you that it makes no difference to this knife. <laughs> she loves it. That is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, think about how many of us smack the middle of that right? pit with the knife and then you end up cutting yourself. I mean, that just slid right out. Isn't that fun? Yes. So now, this is a real great test for your knife. If you ever wonder how sharp or how you know, thin your knife is, try a little bit of fresh mozzarella cheese. What ends up happening when you cut it, it looks like it's been kind of like, uh, uh, it's got waves and creases in it. Well, guys, look at this. All I'm doing is just letting the weight of the knife Give that cut. And I'm going to stop right here and pull this one out because this is what you got to see, so you guys. So you don't have to push on it. No, you're going to let the weight of the knife do it. That's the cleanest, prettiest mm -hmm. cut mozzarella you have ever seen in your life, period. I guarantee it. So, guys, whether it's the foodie tricks with the tomatoes right? and the pineapple, whether you want an easier way to cut the avocado, whether you're looking for a great way for the cheese to look the presentable, bread. the meats, the breads. And, guys, we just got started. Look at this. <laughs> oh, yeah. This. I tell you. I don't even have a knife big enough to get through that. I saw the receipt for this thing. Yes. Mm. <laughs> right? If you're, if you're gonna do a cut like this, oh my goodness, make sure you're gonna present it properly. Now, we usually do a three rib, so it's, uh, it's, wow. it's getting real here. So guys, here we go. We're gonna go ahead, first of all, we're gonna carve the bone off of this row. So that way we can go ahead and just carve that meat. So just like that, grandpa's got his ribs right there. And now here's what we're gonna do, you guys. If you're gonna go and spend 60 or $70 on a cut of meat, please, please, please don't Cut take it. a knife that's going to hack it up and ruin it. What look I'd rather... Isn't it beautiful, Robin? It look at this. is beautiful. And look at the precision. And that's the cuts that I want. That's restaurant quality cuts right mm. there, you guys. It's like a carving station. Have you ever exactly. been to the restaurant? And then they stand there and like, would you like the roast beef? Would you like this? And you're like, I'd like it all. Exactly. But they have like a carving knife like this. I love it, love it, love it. Yes. Now, you and I had some fun with this demonstration last time, okay? Again, it's great for bread. It's great for meat. It's great for all of those things that you remember an electric knife being cool for, this so but this you got to see, okay? Did you ever think desserts with an electric knife? So here's what no. I want you to do. Grab a pint of your favorite ice cream, okay? I like a kind of, I like chocolate. I don't know who's buying this stuff, right? <laughs> Make sure there's all kinds of chunks in it because it looks cooler. So here's it what does. you're going to do. Again, 130 watts of power. So it doesn't matter that it's going through ice cream or the pit of an avocado or the hard part of a pineapple. This is going to get the job done every time. So go ahead and cut that disc off the bottom of the pint and give a little starter cut right there. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take that. This Remember, is so smart. <laughs> you left this the package on. Ready, Robin? Here you go. And how much do you pay for these little ice cream sandwiches? <laughs> there it is. Oh, by the way, ice cream sandwiches for are two. for sharing. There it is. Sharing <laughs> is caring. Sharing and sharing caring. is caring. Pink. There it is. But, I mean, okay, let's just show this. <laughs> Look at the precision. Look at how smooth that cut is. And it was effortless. It was like butter. It was. It slid right through there. And honestly, if you're working with ice cream, you don't want to be like taking forever because it melts. So you <laughs> need something that's going to be quick, exactly. easy, and fast. Now, let me remind you, if you're just tuning mm -hmm. in, we're talking about a huge name in the culinary industry, which is Cuisinart. You are getting a top of the line professional system. It's all contained in its very own little caddy. So you're getting the electric knife. You're getting the knife blade with the cover as well. So you'll protect your hands when you're pulling it out. You're getting the carving fork and you're also getting the wood cutting board. Even if you were just to look at a cutting board out in one of the culinary you know, oh, uh, sure. stores, yeah, yeah, the, 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 you could yeah. easily pay $50 just for a cutting board. 
board. So you're getting the cutting board coming included. Three flexible payments today of $16.65. Get it at home. You have a 30-day money-back guarantee. We encourage you to get it, try it, fall in love with it. If you don't absolutely love it, as enthusiastic as we are, you send it back. No questions asked. Now but guys, for all your carving needs, this is going to be a dream. Exactly. Look and at again, that. for you foodies out there who want to try things that are a little bit different, maybe you don't have the knife skills. Maybe you don't have the you know that that starting point. Well, you know what? When you got an electric knife remember all of those great things you see on pinterest right. that you're afraid of yeah. go ahead and do it yeah. because you don't need the knife skills this is going to do all the work for okay, you okay one more one more because okay, i think i don't more. know <laughs> allison do we have like a minute left i think here we go so here's the sandwich we took a little bit of the turkey that we cut earlier and with the big game coming up you guys i love this demonstration because this is pretty much everything in here it's the meat it's the vegetables it's the bread it's the whole nine yards guys doesn't matter how fresh doesn't matter how uh, how fresh the meat is anything like that we've got the lettuce we've got everything you're going to get perfect cuts every single time. So with the big game coming up, have a look here. Not only is everything going to taste good, but everything is going to look amazing. That's about as clean a cut as you're ever going to get. Both sides, every time. And then, Mark, let me ask you, have you ever tried to cut a sandwich like this without a carving knife, an electric knife, right. and then all the ingredients in the inside slide <laughs> out. Everything's gone. Right? It's like, wait! And then you're trying to shove <laughs> everything back in this. Exactly. <laughs> so you need an electric carving knife. Uh, so continue to call in here, 622-323. Stay tuned. We have our cast iron fry pan coming up next. Welcome back into HSN. We are in the kitchen and we are cooking up a storm. And we are cooking up a storm in a cast iron pan. Now this is not the cast iron pan that your grandmother cooked on. This is not the cast iron pan that you needed to season, that you needed to rub with oil and then store and put it away. This is the cast iron pan. Are you ready for it? That is non-stick, mm -hmm. dishwasher safe, yep. and can go into the oven up to 500 degrees. It had a huge huge launch here at HSN. Really <laughs> we sold over 44 thousand in one day. Wow. Now, why do I mention that? Not to brag. I mention that because I want you to understand the excitement, the enthusiasm, mm -hmm. the quality of this fry pan. When you get this at home, not only the capacity, but also the beauty of this cast iron nonstick interior. Mm -hmm. And we have two colors available. We have it available in the silver and we have it available in the red. It comes with that helper handle, which is fantastic. Nonstick in the interior. And it's Thirty nine ninety five. Wow. Wow, Thirty nine wow, wow, ninety five. Wow, wow. And read the reviews, Mark. It's and unreal. If, if you have it, we'd love to hear from you. One eight six six three seven six eight two five five. Because there are one hundred and seventy one reviews. And there's on so HSN. many five com. star ones, you'll lose yes. track. So guys, yes. I'm going to say this, and, and and this is one of these things where yeah, you're hearing it. Phone a friend, and remember where you were the very first time you saw this. For the first time, this is a triple sealed non-stick, dishwasher safe, yeah. put it in the sink, let it soak in water, cast iron pan. Now listen, we have access to the greatest kitchen equipment, all the food in the world, so listen, I started this whole thing with an egg. Well, why would I just start with an egg? You know why? Because this is the first thing that'll bring out grandma's wooden spoon. I'm right. telling you. Right, it's so true. Because there's no fat, no oil, no butter, and there's no sticking. You've never seen that before in a cast iron pan, you guys. That can't happen. This doesn't come seasoned. It means it doesn't need to be reseasoned and never needs to be looked at again. And if you decide you want to, you go right ahead and you throw this right in the dishwasher. So we're going to do some demonstrations today okay. that maybe you're not used to seeing, that, uh, you know, especially in a cast iron pan. But let's talk about what happened to our cast iron pans. Because okay. for thousands of years, that was the best way to cook. Right, that's how they cooked. Right, and then 1983 came along. <laughs> and we invented that flat glass bottom non-stick cookware and man was that fun to reuse right, right it right. was clean it was easy but it was almost like one of those kids toys you turn around and shake it was just like a reset button every time I'm gonna turn this steak over and I'm gonna show you exactly what we've been missing with our cast okay. iron cooking because the seasoning is such a pain watch this Robin okay we've been missing 
this dimension in cooking. Do you see Look that? Look at that sear. This is why restaurants uh, advertise that they cook their steaks on a cast iron pan. Nobody advertises they cook on stainless steel ever. Right. And nobody's going to fight for your copper pan when it's all said and done. Absolutely. But that cast iron will be in the family for years, you guys, just like it is in mine. So here's what we're going to do, okay? If you are one of those people that are still on that uh, New, Year, uh, New Year's resolution uh, train, listen, stay on it. Stay all on right. it. I'm sure the view's great. But for those of you that aren't, welcome home, okay? And we're going to add some butter now. Because, <laughs> guys, here's what I want you to understand. There's this no fat oil or butter in there, right. right? You don't need it. But when you do that uh, that Google thing where you search for how to make the best steak, right? Here's what they're going to tell mm. you to do. Start with a big heavy pan, preferably cast iron. Then you're going to take a little bit of these guys, toss them in. And then we've got some shallots just like that. And we've got a little bit of garlic. So guys, while that side of the steak finishes, let's talk about a couple of things that are going That's on here as gorgeous, well, okay? gorgeous, Mark. Thank you very much. I mean, seriously. <laughs> I mean, you can be a professional in your kitchen now too when you get this at home. Exactly. Now, do you know what's happening here? You know what it's we're doing? Caramelized. We are actually going to make caramel. Caramel. All right, okay. so we're going to go ahead. We're going to add a little bit of cream to our sugar. Super, super See, simple. See, you can tell I'm not a professional. <laughs> Am I, I caramelizing? I Googled it. I so, guys, know. watch what we're going to do here, okay? And, again, this is one of those things that you cannot do in cast iron. This is everything your pan hates. Uh -huh. This is milk solids. This is sugar. This is corn syrup. So watch what I'm going to do here. You guys ready for this? That can't happen. That can't happen. Right. Guys, if you tried to do that with these milk solids, that would be normal, a sticky mess. Not only a sticky mess, but you would completely remove the seasoning that you worked so hard on. So, oh. guys, when we go back to this steak, remember, when Grandma mm, made a meal like this, especially so if she deglazed a pan like we're going to, that means that the seasoning came right off. So, right after you cook dinner, now you got to cook your pan. Mm. That's goofy. That <laughs> so, is. guys, watch but what we're going to do. But that's what we've all known right. up to this point. Exactly. And now, that's what's so fabulous about Kitchen HQ is the innovation, the technology has evolved and it really gives you now an alternative to using what we all love but exactly. always found frustrating to clean and to season and to oil and to preserve exactly. for a lifetime right exactly now so you guys, don't have to do any of that so we've got this stirring we're going to use that in just a second our steak is done so let's do this okay now Again, for everybody that's cooked with cast iron, you're going to start seeing mm. some of these presentations and demonstrations. You're going to be like, well, wait a minute. That doesn't happen. That can happen. Here's another thing that we're going to talk about that you can do finally in a non-stick, non-stick cast iron. I got to keep saying that. Yeah. In a non-stick pan, you guys. I'm going to grab my, we have our red wine. So we're going to grab a little bit of, uh, of, of red wine and beef, just like this. And what then really happens with this is the acidity in that wine will pull that seasoning off, okay. guys. And that is such a problem, all right? Can we call this deglazing? Do you call this deglazing? pan. Now, when we use those regular non-sticks, you can't do that because it doesn't grab those crunchy bits. When they right. make a cast iron pan, Robin, they mm. use sand and they use clay. They make one mold and they smash it. It is an individual pan as individual as you are, okay? Mm. But what's cool about it is if you were to look under uh, the, the, the pan in a micro, like a, under a microscope, it's like a mountain range under there, okay? Look and all that. of those little valleys are where all of the fats and natural sugars go down, burn, and come back up and caramelize. That's oh. why you can deglaze wow. and get that great crust. So guys, here we go. We've got our caramel. I'm gonna walk it over here. So go ahead and do some of those dishes that you see on Pinterest, that you see all over the place. The Tower your baby, of Apples. <laughs> the Tower of Apples. So this is gonna provide the glue, and this is gonna hold it right in place, you guys. So have some fun with this, and we're gonna let that stick and build it up. But here's what I want you to see. And then we're going to take that steak pan and you clean it out. You see a little cinnamon. Look, Look at this. that. By the way, if wiping the pan out is a bit too much, then go ahead and just put it right in the dishwasher. It's all you need to do. So I'm going to set Look that right that. there. And I'm going to go ahead Mark, and put the sauce amazing. on our steak. Thank you very much. Hey, so guys, watch this. Here's our nice, our nice sauce and broth and a little bit of red wine for our steak. But guys, here comes the magic. This is what you've been waiting for. This steak has seen wine, it's seen acid, it's seen uh, fats, it's seen veggies, it's seen the whole nine yards in one meal. But Robin, watch this. <laughs> okay, This I'm is watching. the part that everybody needs to see. This is cast iron, this is cast iron, this is cast iron, you guys. That is unheard of. <laughs> I mean, honestly, and I think for most of us, we typically would not have tried cast iron because we were so afraid of seasoning, of cleaning, right. of cooking. But cast Cast iron is known for its superior retention in heat. So it holds on to that heat so you can get that high sear. You can get the caramelization. You can get all the good bits that give you the flavor. And for the first time, you now have cast iron that is non Stick. You could put this in the oven up to 500 degrees. It can even go on your grill if you would like. It has a helper handle. Mm -hmm. It's very ergonomic.
ergonomic and, and actually, if you pass it over, sure. let me show everybody here because you know everybody always wonders with the stuff they see on TV because they can't put it in their hands, they can't feel it. Is it can you know? Is it cast iron or is it like coated? Yeah, I mean, is it, it has this, a heft that? to it. So watch this, you guys. This is your real deal seven and a half pound cast iron pan. Right. This is the real deal. This is what Grandma used only with ours. There is no seizing. And here's the other thing you need to know: cast iron is a one-piece yeah. construction. That means that it's the same material all the way up the two and a quarter inch sidewall. So okay. all that heat retention goes throughout the entire pan. You're gonna so fry chicken? When it comes time for that southern fried chicken, this is the pan that wow. you wanna use, you guys. Complete heat control, unbelievable heat distribution, high sidewalls, and that unmistakable performance of cast iron, and that is the real deal, you guys, without wow. a question. So let's let that go. Okay. And let's, oh, yep. go for it. <laughs> no, I was just gonna say, like, maybe this is the first time you're tuning into HSN and you're just flipping through late night and you're like, oh, wait a second. Cast iron, what? Dishwasher safe, check. What? Nonstick, <laughs> check. And you're like, I can sear a steak, check. I don't have to season it, check. I mean, you're getting annoyed by hearing me say check, I'm sure, by I'm this not. point. But the point <laughs> is, maybe this is your first item you pick up. Give it a try. Get it at home. 30 day money back guarantee. Our toll free number is at the bottom of the screen. You can also visit hsn.com. And I will tell you, with the reviews on hsn.com, our producer before the show, Allison, was like, I ordered this. I love it. Uh -huh. I cook in it. She said, I even put it in the oven. It performs like nothing she's ever seen. And she said, one of the biggest things she was afraid of, mm -hmm. cast iron, was she She said, we're traditionally, you had to season, you had to oil it, mm -hmm. you had to baby it. And then it's not just have to, having to do that once. You have right. to keep doing Continually. it. Continually. You know, I double dog dare you. Google care for cast iron pan. 14,735,000 results pop up. And you don't <laughs> have to worry about one of them. Right. No seasoning, no oiling, and no baking your pans afterwards. Now, you may cooking in the oven, all right? Okay. Listen, cast iron was originally invented as a cauldron to sit beside open fire to cook. That's where it came from. The mm -hmm. only way, place that skillets came from is when we invented stovetops and we took the legs off, right. all right? So this is the perfect pan for oven cooking and oven finishing. So guys, if you remember a uh, Sunday night at grandma's, that pot roast, here's why. Because mm -hmm. she seasoned it in that pan and she cooked it in that pan. So while we sear off that one side, here's a super easy dish. And Kat, can you do me a favor while I prepare this? Oh, Let, bring so on some bad. of the oven dishes here. So this is the coolest thing to do here. Now, we didn't start you with an eight inch size or a 10 inch size. We started you with the 12 inch size. That means that it's family size, you guys. So what I've got going in here, a little bit of frozen vegetables, quite honestly, a couple of cans of cream soup. You're just gonna let that uh, get acquainted and be friendly for a few minutes. And then you're gonna take some biscuit mix and you're just gonna spoon drop right on top, just like that, all right? Now, the chicken that you use in here, when I make this, I go and order my favorite fr uh, fried chicken. I uh, t pull the chicken apart, put it in here. I save the skin. And the skin I put right on top of those biscuit pieces. And oh. if you follow me out front here, Robin, you're gonna see what happens when this comes out of the oven. Are you ready? Now it's I right want it. Front. Now I want it. I'm right like, over here. Oh my word. So guys, here's the finished product. And this only takes Look. about 20 minutes in the oven. That skin is crispy, the biscuits are perfect, and that soup and veggies has made the perfect chicken pot pie for as many people as you can fit biscuits on. So you just use canned soup? Or what did you cream of whatever you like? Cream of whatever you whatever. like. You okay, added chicken. Few frozen vegetables, some chicken, and the biscuit mix. That's all you have to do. So guys, have a look here. Here's your pot roast. I'm not even going to use fork. I was like, I'm just going to pull apart. You... <laughs> here, I can get you a fork. We'll get you a fork. Isn't that yeah. beautiful? I'm like, that there looks like you go. burn your fingers. Yeah, I got the chef fingers. We're you good. do. This is that nice pull apart pork roast, or pork wow. roast, pot roast that we talked about. Guys, this is that Sunday dinner at Grandma's that you remember. Mm -hmm. And when you want to talk even cooking, I got to do this. Oh my so gosh, you made a pizza in there. I just skipped well, over. Wait, 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 there's Six. five servings in each. So guys, look at this. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this around. There isn't one square centimeter on this that doesn't look like the centimeter beside it. That's right. as even as cooking gets. And you wanted to talk about pizza? Yeah, man, you can cook pizza in here. Now this is my Keto Keith pizza. Keith and wait, is our, yep. I just have to clarify Please. before we move on. Uh -huh. You didn't use extra oil, I mean, other than what no, was in the recipe. Right, no added fats, oils or butters, unless you want it. These are triple dipped, they're triple sealed, and the cast That's iron itself huge. is treated with nonstick. The cast okay. iron on the molecular level itself. So there's nothing to wear off. 
Right. right. So guys, right. Watch okay. This. Now to the pizza. To the pizza. Now, believe it or not, this crust is made of Parmesan cheese and an egg. So now we can make pizza crust out of cheese, and somehow what? it's healthy. It's the keto diet, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then you put on a little bit of sauce. But here's what I want you to see. It's not the pizza. Well, if you're on that it's diet, look at that. Look at oh, Keith lost a whole Keith. <laughs> <laughs> This is beautiful. That's Parmesan and egg with your regular pizza toppings. Somehow, if you don't put a grain of sugar on this, it's healthy. Eat it up. I, I don't understand. I, I don't either. <laughs> Look, I, I don't, I don't either. Over. Okay. Um, here's what's happening. We have two color options available. <clears throat> we have it in the red and we have it in the silver. If you want the red, we only have a maybe like a few hundred to go around, and that is it. Now, I know for everything we've been talking about, mm -hmm. nonstick, dishwasher safe, cast iron, construction, built to last, this will be something you will pass down. You look at the price and you go, can it be true? <laughs> because I think typically we're used to seeing cast iron pans not at this price. So at $39.95, that's the power of HSN and Kitchen AQ to come to get um, HQ to come come together and deliver you a price that's unprecedented. Get it at home and try it. Give it a test drive. If you don't love everything about it, if you're not putting it in your oven, if you're not searing, you're not seasoning, you're not deglazing, you're not creating fried chicken, you're not roasting, uh, send it back. <laughs> but I have a feeling you're going to be like all the reviews on hsn.com that are flipping over this fry pan. And yes, this is not any fry pan. It's cast iron. This weighed, you weighed it. What did it weigh? Seven and a half pounds. This is the real deal it, it when it comes it really to cast iron. Is. Now, if someone has uh, nonstick, mm -hmm. if someone has aluminum, why do I want to cook with cast iron? Because cast iron is that uh, a traditional piece of cookware that gives you, I keep saying, that extra dimension in cooking. Guys, we lost our cast iron when we invented that mirrored bottom style of nonstick cooking. And listen, guys, I have nonstick cookware. I love it because it's mm -hmm. fast and easy, but there's nothing more than I miss when it's steak time or chicken time or any of these proteins and that sear that I get from a cast iron pan that tastes in flavor. And now we're even gonna make crepes in our cast iron pan, you guys. There's really nothing you're not gonna do in here. So breakfast, lunch, dinner, desserts, anything in between. Exactly. I mean, it's remarkable. Exactly. What is that? A little bit of thick Alfredo sauce over our shrimp. Okay, now between. that we're gonna be in a food comatose, <laughs> I want you to stay tuned for our 2 a.m. hour because we have the Beauty Spy coming up. Beauty skincare regimens from around the globe from South Korea, you don't wanna miss it. Chelsea Scott will be joining us, but we have the final six minutes left in this hour. So stay tuned for our beauty hour coming up. But with the final six minutes, this is the opportunity to get yours while we have them. This is your opportunity to get it at home, fall in love, cook better, have more flavorful food. I mean, and it doesn't matter what you cook in it. I mean, you've right. really cooked a variety of meals. Oh, we're having some fun here. Kat, could you do me a favor? Yeah, sure. Could you please grab me a plate from down there? So guys, have a look here. This is actually a crepe in a cast iron pan. No fat, no butter, no oil. And have a look. Guys, it folds over beautifully. We'll give it one more. Now, I'm not a dessert chef, all right? I'm a steak chef. So the best way to cover up mistakes with a crepe, I'm gonna let you, here's my little uh, secret to you, is with <laughs> Look, I feel like cream. I'm getting so excited. There you go, oh. now it's a perfect crepe. But here's what I want you to see, okay? Guys, this is, without yeah, a doubt. Eat so, I know. I know, I know. I want people to see. everything far oh, away you, from me. You know is what? that Dude, like? Hey, Kat, do me a favor. Grab her a fork in this while I do this, because this <laughs> is what I want you to see. Watch this. This is, again, everything your pan hates. This Ooh, is sugar, you. high fructose corn syrup. This is milk solids, caramel and chocolate, you guys. There's no oil, no fat, no butter, no, no, no nothing in there. But this is what I want no you nothing. to see. I am literally going to clean this pan out. Well, you ready for this? You. Okay. I'm gonna clean this pan out with chocolate and caramel. Guys, you've never seen anything like that before in your life. This is cast iron. Oh my gosh, that's isn't that good? So good. <laughs> By the way, oh we, my. we even flattened I'm our sorry. boots. I wish I could it. like slide it through the television <laughs> into your living room for you to try. Aww. Wow. I don't that... think I've, have I ever gotten to cook for you before? What? Have Maybe? I ever gotten to cook for you yeah. before? Yeah. Mm, okay. Oh my god. I'm doing a cooking show with you. Mm. I love cooking for people. Uh, you know, and when you can use a pan like this and oh. your meals get remembered and your meals get talked about, holy moly. So oh guys, gosh, if you're gonna Mark, use that is so good. <laughs> so mm. if you're gonna use a thick Alfredo I'm like that. I'm licking my fingers. I love it. Listen, that means <laughs> okay. we did it right. right. All right, we have one minute mark. All right. So we just want to recap for everybody. And can All we right. get a pic of the fried chicken in oh, the Oh, is it looking good? I know, because we only have one minute and I have to close out in one minute. So you're 
you're gonna unveil that shrimp dish. Mm -hmm. Sh is that Alfredo? That is an Alfredo, a nice thick Alfredo oh sauce. You wait till it's about two thirds of the way uh, liquefied, but here's the, here's the magic. Here's the magic right here, gotta do it quick. Okay. Because if you've ever owned cast iron, you know that this isn't possible, guys. And if the wiping out is just too exhausting, then go ahead and put it in the dishwasher, put it in the dishwasher, put it in the dishwasher. Okay, fried chicken, $39.95. Three <laughs> flexible payments of $13.32. You have it in red, which is, we have the final call out here. I think, Allison, you said less than 300. And you have the silver gray. Um, so continue to call in here. Our beauty spy is coming up next. Stay tuned for that. Mark, nice job. Really much. great job. Always so much fun. So now that we're all in a food comatose, I want you to stay tuned because we're going to glamorize ourselves and have beautiful looking skin with Beauty Spy coming up next. There's nothing more exciting than hunting for treasure. That's why every year we come to the biggest gym event in the world, the Tucson Gem Show. It's where collectors and gym lovers gather to find the most exotic and rare stones on the planet. But don't worry, you don't need to book a trip to Tucson because we're bringing our best discoveries to you. Join your favorite gemstone brands for the Tucson Gem Event, only on HSN. You might just find your next treasure. The thing I love most about shopping at HSN, do I have to pick just one? I'd have to say FlexPay. Mm -hmm. It allows me to get the things I want now and make monthly payments without any interest or fees. I got a new mattress for the guest bedroom, a fabulous cookware set for my sister's wedding, and a little something just for me. FlexPay gives me the flexibility to buy what I need now without the stress of having to pay for it all at once and no interest. Beat that layaway. I've spent a lifetime in the kitchen all over the world. And I've seen what it takes to make cooking easier, faster, and more simple. You don't need a professional kitchen to be able to cook a delicious meal. With the right kitchen tools, you'll be able to cook, create, and celebrate. Don't miss the return of Curtis Stone's Kitchen Solutions, only on HSN. up and you're looking to impress your friends, let me show you how to make this beautiful seafood boil using my DuraPan. Let's do seafood for the dinner party. I'm about to set up. Oh, oh. Hey guys, let's eat. Oh. That's perfect. 